let us first define the parts of the interventricular septum and remember one thing very important about vsds is that all types of vsds will not be seen in all views so you will require different views to see different vsds many times one view may show you that yes everything is normal but the moment you change the view and the vsd is seen so now let us first see what are different types of vsds for that we divide the we first read about the parts of the interventricular septum now interventricular septum has mainly two parts that is the membranous and the muscular membranous part is the part of the interventricular septum which is which is just beneath the aortic valve so this is the membranous part this is the membranous septum here just where the aortic aorta begins then the muscular part is divided further into three regions inlet trabecular and outlet trabecular is the biggest one so this is the trabecular septum this arise, this starts from the cardiac apex then the inlet septum is between the two atrioventricular valves the inlet septum is between the two atrioventricular valves here you can see it more clearly in the four chamber view this is the inlet part right and then we have the outlet septum the outlet the word you can you can make out by it only that it will be somewhere near to the great arteries somewhere near to the origin of the vessel, great vessels aorta and pulmonary artery right so there are three parts of the muscular septum inlet which is between the two av valves trabecular which is from the apex till the inlet part and then there is the outlet that is the part which is between the origin where the great arteries origin originate there the as a part of the septum there would be the outlet part right near the out uh, semilunar valves you can say near the semilunar valves let us go to the parts of the septum now again defining in different views let us start with the parasternal long axis view so in the parasternal long axis view you can see the aorta the left ventricle atrium right ventricle this is the interventricular septum the a part of the septum near the aorta that is the membranous part that is the membranous part then just next to it if we see that would be the outlet that would be the outlet part that is the outlet part and then what you are seeing is the trabecular part so in the parasternal long axis view primarily what you see is mainly the trabecular part a small area of the outlet and a small area just next to the origin of aorta is the membranous part of the septum then we come to the parasternal short axis view you can see the aorta here and the right ventricular outflow tract and now in the uh, in this area what you are going to see again towards the right side near the tricuspid valve this will be the membranous part then this is mainly the outlet part right so membranous you can see the yellow color membranous and the green one the outlet then this is the parasternal short axis uh, view at the level of mitral valve and here what we are able to see we are able to see the trabecular the trabecular septum and then the inlet septum the inlet and the trabecular no? because now we are at the level of the chamber so here we will be more closer to the atrioventricular valves here we were more close to the semilunar valves so that is why we had the outlet part here and this is the inlet now then we go to the papillary muscle level again the same trabecular and the inlet septum and in the four chamber also you will you are since close to the atrioventricular valves you will see the trabecular and the inlet septum and again here this is the trabecular part but because we can see this is the five chamber view you can see the origin of aorta so you will be able to see the membranous part also just below the root of aorta and this is uh, the apical three chamber i am not much concerned with this so we can leave this also we are mainly concerned with these here but you can here again see that there is since the aorta is seen the part next to it would be the membranous then would be the outlet part and then would be the trabecular part 